was Dave Smith. Right? I've not met Dave. Have you met him? Never. Did you hear at the end what he said there? I love no. you, boys. Yeah, he's right? a Now, I, I've said to you on air many times, I love you, Benny. You can't yeah. say it back to me. I love you, boys. Can you, I love you, Andy. Can you not say it? Love do you love Joe? Do you love Joe? Do you yeah, see? I do, yeah. Tell him. Even though not, though. Tell him. No, no recently. Don't te- tell him through the glass. No, nah, recently he's starting to annoy me. Joe, <laughs> yeah, right now. What about Ryan? Do you like Ryan? Yeah. Do you love Ryan? What a guy. You love him? I really, really like Ryan. Yeah, we like him. Do you love Ryan? We should get him on the show. Do you like me? Wasting a bit of time. Do you like me? Agent. Do you like me? Yeah. Do you love me? Oh, it's time I hate you. <laughs> time now for this. Hello, Miss Moneypenny. Hello, Agent Bent. How do you like your transfers? Shaken, not stirred. No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. Hop in and come for a spin. I'm Ben. Agent Ben. That music is just off the clock, isn't it? Mm. It's that brand new feature. It's not really brand new anymore. Agent Ben, where former England striker turned horrific actor Darren Bent will be taking us on a top secret mission. Not really top secret to find out the truth behind some transfer stories currently going around during this window. Uh, now, this is, I think this is very, very exciting for West Ham fans. Talksport understands that West Ham and Chelsea are among the Premier League clubs interested in signing Newcastle striker Callum Wilson. The England inter- international is into the final 18 months of his deal at Newcastle. Could be forced to consider offers of around £20 million to help ease concerns over breaching profit and sustainability rules. Only early in Harlan, a little note, footnote, only early Harlan. Has a higher non-penalty expected goals, 0.72, and goals per game, 0.86, than Callum Wilson. What a stat that is, by the way. Unbelievable. And I, I really like Callum Wilson. Big fan of his. Um, I know he's had his injuries this season. Um, but when he plays, I almost feel like he's one of them centre forwards. Whenever he seems to play, always seems to score. And even when he had a period where Izak was starting, he'd come off the bench and score. Mm. 18 goals last season. He's got seven this season. Um... I think he'd fit well for both clubs. The, the, the only concern you'd have is the whole... In, is the music still going to continue to... Yeah, it goes on until it runs out and then it just... Can it come down a bit though, please? You don't like it? <laughs> oh, a little bit. <laughs> let, let it bubble, right? right. <laughs> but no, I, I really like him. Um, Hold on. You're not going to let it bubble, right? Cut just a little bit? A, a little bit, Bond. Go on, carry on. West Ham, Chelsea... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> it, it, it's definitely one of those where if either side could get him, I think it works really well. I don't know why I'm leaning more towards West Ham, but because I think maybe where they are, but I don't expect Chelsea to finish where they are this season. to be higher than that. But for the fact for Callum Wilson, both clubs, he's going to start. Where If he goes to West Ham, he'll start. If he goes mm. to Chelsea, he'll start. Uh, so many clubs need a decent number nine, mm-hmm. right? With, with the shortage available of strikers, is he the right man Chelsea should be targeting, do you think? <sighs> well, he's not young, is he? He's 31. So that's almost like... You get a couple of years out of him potentially, and then mm. that's it. Like you're gonna have to, you're gonna have the same problem in a couple of years' time. Um, but you're right, the shortage of centre forwards is. Nuts. I mean, if you were playing now, my goodness, oh, it'd be nice. But th- there is a lack of them. You have to do your research and, and, and go and find mm-hmm. one. But listen, I think if you give Callum Wilson, if he can stay fit between now and the end of the season, I've got no guarantee. I've got no doubt he could get between eight and ten goals for I, sure. I know they've got to offload some players, Newcastle, for this FFP. Mm. I, I totally get that, right? But wouldn't Newcastle fans feel a little bit like? Aggrieved that he'll be going. I know Isak's the number. I get that. Mm. But Callum, I really, really rate Callum Wilson. I think he's a fantastic player. I, I think maybe for, pla- for twenty million pounds, there or thereabout, surely they can work something else out. Well, that's one of that. For twenty million pounds, you think a lot of people would be in for him, right? Yeah. But I think I, I'd take him at United. By the way, for yeah, twenty, 20 million. million, of course. We've got Anthony Marshall's out for ten weeks. Yeah, he's, he's, I know his contract's not going to be. He's gone, right? Mm-hmm. What an unbelievable player we'd have. Yeah. I, I, again, as I said, I think he'll score goals. Um, would you have him at Arsenal? Yeah, for twenty million, I'll take that. Hundred percent. Does he start? Ooh, would fit. he start? If he's fully fit, yeah. He's, well, he's, he scores more goals than the other two, and that's just fact. So you're playing him over Jesus? Yeah, because Jesus doesn't score that many goals. Yeah, no, which, I agree which with is the you. problem. I agree with you. But um, whoever gets him, if West Ham can get him, and then add Calvin Phillips as well. Oh my goodness! Wow, now you're talking. Mm. We're talking big things. What's, what's West Ham's ceiling? What, what with these players or without? Yeah, with with these players. So they've got Calvin Phillips. Yeah, let's just say they got Callum Wilson. It has to be minimum top six. Has to be yeah. minimum. What's the ceiling? I think they could sneak. In. Mm. Oh, you're gonna say no? Nah, do you know what? I think fifth. No, do you know what I say? Fifth and potentially winning the Europa. I know Liverpool are in it, but that's their ceiling. That's now. that's the difference, yeah. right? They could win a trophy with him. Which is squad depth, but it's whether he can stay fit. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I enjoyed that. That was today's agent Ben.
Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.